In this lesson, you will learn how to identify fractions using a number line. Fractions are used to show parts of a whole or group. Let's take a look at the fraction 2 fifths. Fractions have two parts. They have a top part and the bottom part, and they name different parts of the whole or group. So the bottom part, right here, is called the denominator, and it tells you how many equal parts are in the whole. The top number is called the numerator, and it tells you how many of the parts or the equal parts are being used. That means the fraction 2 fifths is a whole that has been divided into five equal parts because that's the denominator, and two of those parts are being used. So now let's take a look about how we can identify fractions on a number line. Here's a number line, and what we want to do is identify the fraction shown on the number line, and that would be the little tick mark there that's in red. So this entire space in between 0 and 1 represents one whole. And if you go in there and count, you'll see that there are 10 equal parts in between 0 and 1. So there are 10 equal parts in the whole. That means that the denominator of this fraction is going to be out of 10. Right, because the denominator represents the total number of parts in the whole. So now we need to count, and we see that 1, 2, 3, 4, the red tick mark is the fourth equal part in between 0 and 1. So that means that the fraction shown on this number line is 4 tenths. And this is how we would express it in the numerator and denominator, right? 4 is the numerator because we're using 4 parts. 10 is the denominator because we have 10 total parts in the whole. Now the other way that you can do this is you can count up from 0. So each division is 1 tenth. So that means the second division represents 2 tenths, third division is 3 tenths, and lastly here, this division is 4 tenths. And that's the way that you can count up. And what you notice here is that you add 1 to the numerator as you count up. So we go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and that's just adding 1. Let's take a look at another number line. And again, we want to identify the fraction shown on the number line where that red tick mark is. This number line goes from 0 to 4. What we need to do is look at each whole number. So from 0 to 1, right, and we're going to count how many equal parts are in between 0 and 1, and then we're going to know how many equal parts each whole is divided into. So let's count. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts in between 0 and 1. And that means that each division here, each tick mark, represents 1 fifth. So you can see that 1 equals 5 fifths, right? Because if we count up, we would get 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and then lastly, on 1, we would land at 5 fifths. But 2 does not equal, you know, we wouldn't start here and go to this division right here and say that's 1 fifth again, because we have to continue on from where we left off. So if we count on starting at 0, and we want to see what fraction is represented by the whole number 2 on this number line, we would just keep counting up and adding 1 to the numerator. What I'm going to do is just count the division. So at number 1 here, at the whole number 1, we're at the fifth division. Now that means this one here is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And because we know that each whole has 5 parts, that means the whole number 2 is 10 fifths because the numerator is 10 and the denominator is still 5 because each whole is divided into 5 equal parts. If you continued counting and you want to know the fraction for 3, you'll find that you're going to add 5 more because there are 5 more parts in between 2 and 3, and this fraction would be 15 fifths, and continuing on, the whole number 4 would be represented by the fraction 20 fifths. Now look at the fraction marked on the number line. Count the fifths to get the fraction marked here. So I've already labeled them, and we can see that the number 8 falls directly above the red tick mark. That means it's the eighth equal part, and so we can say that the red mark here on this number line represents the fraction 8 fifths. And that's because there are 8 equal parts that we're counting, right? We counted all the way up to 8, and each whole has 5 parts. Notice that this fraction is greater than 1 and less than 2. You also know that it is greater than 1 by comparing the numerator and the denominator. 
since the numerator is greater than the denominator, right? The numerator is on top and the numerator is 8. 8 is greater than 5. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, you know that you have a fraction that is greater than 1. And again, you can see that here because the fraction falls in between the whole numbers 1 and 2. So the fraction has to represent a value that's greater than 1. In this lesson, you've learned how to identify fraction using a number line. Thanks for watching.